approved budget was in approved, but we went through the process that got it to PPCC. PPCC gave the no objection to us for justifying why we should use single source. So that whole process of PPCC and the Ministry of Justice participating and finance into the process was done. The only problem we had with the legislature, which we said we took responsibility for, was that a full budget was in pass, and that final minister said, we're giving you what we give you from 112 to start the project. That's where it is. Lesson learned, like I said, some of the sections are still pliable. You mentioned that. Uh, Zwerju to Kawikin, it's excellent. Vonjaman to Foya Minikoma, it's okay. Broadway to Bobolu, it's okay. You can go to Brook to Bobolu now. There's no way you will get stuck on the road. You can go to Berylen now from Zweju. You will not get stuck on the road. Okay? There's some, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So there's some sections, yes. From Tapeta to Zweju, there's some issues there. And we learned lessons of what transpired. And like I said, when the project got started in April, you know, let's be fair, April was already rainy season. What we were able to do in the short time help. There were some lapses on supervision, like I said. We had that. And the reason was because we were just taking away ministry. We had the resident engineers that are responsible in between the different sections to be there on time. There were places that they may, they may have not been on time. It was an issue with supervision too. And we take caution to that, to be able to correct that. But with the period we have now, five to six months, the supervision will be more regular. Because we had shorter time before the rain. And on-site visit will be, I myself went up to Toast Town like a week ago. Up to Toast Town. As much as we still have some sections that are challenging, but I went up to Toast Town. So, Senator, a lot of work will be done now. And I want you to also know that when these works are done, there are structural works that are done. So we're laying covers in certain sections. Some of the corridors that were very critical, the section, you have to lay covers. And to lay covers, structural work that was done. So most of these sections, the, co the covers have already been laid. During the dry season, majority of the work will be to do continuous clearing because just the overgrown bushes on the road can be a reason why such a section will deteriorate. So once that clearing is done, you have sufficient sun, sufficient drain system done on the side, and the road is compacted and, and come up properly. The same way you see that corridor from Zerju to Kawiki, we expect the other corridor to look the same. So we are taking that example from Zerju to Kawiki and using that as the measurement for what should happen in the other corridors. And I, I, we are hoping, and I know that will happen, that during the next rainy season, the corridors that will not be paved, which will not be, their, their performance will be better as compared to what happened during this, this rainy season. Um, I, 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 so I'm sure I address, uh, yeah, I address all the questions. Yeah. Mr. Presiding, um, if I can ask your indulgence, I want to engage the minister. I want to engage the minister. If I can ask or appeal to your indulgence. Yeah, I don't want question, question, then everybody. To ask. I want to engage in my time. I'm, I'm asking you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Minister. Yes, Senator. The over pass bridge. You're right up. You say it should begin February 2025 with a less span of 24 months, correct? Yes. In your right up, you said China Road and Bridge Corporation is selected by the Chinese as the general contractor of yeah. the project. Yes. Any bidding? Well, the Chinese government grant support is uh, procurement wise the Chinese government procure the company that does the work uh, we just provide the corridor the section and what we're supposed to do on our side is to make sure we pay for the wrap properties that will be affected and turn over the site to them so in effect, so the, effect the overpass bridge uh, funding is granted not loan no lateral or no obligation no. So the Chinese government decided their company to come do their work with their money. Yes. I want to be clear with that. 
Yeah. Why are we getting? Some don't think that God is causing. Why are we getting? It's an interchange. Yeah. So, so it's like. So let me give an example. One of the section starts from one of the priests start from the old Unity Party headquarter. You elevate, and you descend anywhere around uh, closer to Zone Three. So if you're coming from Congo Town, you don't want to have anything to do with the ministerial complex, Winter Chapel, Congo Town Back Road, that whole section, you you get on the overpass. So it, it flies you over, and I show some of us travel, those who have not. Yes, so I think it's about, it should be uh, about 300, 300 meter. The overpass should be 300 meter. Uh, and I give the example from the uh, you know, departure headquarters and descends anywhere closer to the Zone 3 police headquarters. So that means you get up there and you fly over up to the Zone 3 and you descend. So it's an overpass. Of course, there will be uh, two side lanes, two seven lanes on both sides because the overpass will be in the middle where the current uh, pavement is. That's where the overpass will be. And there will be two extra lanes on the side, two on both sides for the cars that will be continuing to go into the ministerial complex or stop into stop and shop, window shop, or anywhere along the corridor. But if you don't want to do that, if you're going straight to town, you ascend uh, on the overpass and then you fly over and descend and continue to go to town. It's the same at SKD Boulevard. It starts for anywhere around the... Uh, just where you descend the hill after Palm Spring, and that takes you, fly you over to anywhere by Oseli, just where we get to Lion Station and Restore right there. And there's another one. It turns into SKD Boulevard and descend after the Ghana Chop Bar. I sure we all know where the Ghana Chop Bar is. It descends there. So if you're coming from town and you don't want to have anything to do with SKD Boulevard or the back road, anywhere there, you get on the overpass right after Palm Spring, and then you fly over and get down anywhere around uh, Oseli, closer to SD Cooper Road. So that's what it is. And uh, it's going to help to also, of course, relieve the traffic and give uh, easy access to those who don't want to be mingled with the traffic at the, the SKD Boulevard and the Ministry of Complex section. Yeah, but that, another follow-up. Another follow-up. The interchange. Uh, I, I, I thought there was a difference between an interchange and an overpass. Well, again, overpass is different. The section of going towards uh, uh, 540 and the other side towards, uh, I think, the maritime. Yeah, yeah, but the fact that you are, no, but the fact that you are leaving the ground and going up, you are changing. When you are leaving the ground and you are sending, you are interchanging. You are over, overpass. Yeah, you are flying over. You are flying over. So those overpass, again, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be at the two intersections. So it could be, an overpass, and it's and most people were thinking that it was like an like cross wall overpass, but it's for road. No, it's for vehicles. It's for vehicle. It's for vehicle. It's for vehicles. Thank you, Mr. Minister. You just explained it. What make it difficult for you to break this thing down for the public? Anyway, uh, thanks for the. Uh, I just want to ask another question. Are you still carrying on 100 day deliverable, no car stock in the month? Question. Of course, it's still a project that continues because it has not ended. The projects, 10 of the projects were for two years, maintenance up to 2026. So these corridors that were contracted prior to the rain season, we continue working in them to upgrade them until 2026. So the contractors still have responsibility in this corridor. How many days will go on under the administration? Well, <laughs> more than 100 days. So, so are we still doing 100 days? Well, you know, because it was con as 100 days, so it just stuck with it. But the contracts continue up to 2026. So can we leave that 100 day business? Yeah, because every time you talk about 100 days, we've seen it without 100 day business, we're going for serious business now. Yeah, that's true, Senator. So maybe we will recon it, not 100 days, but maintenance of major primary corridors that are not Let me ask again. You budgeted for $22 million to do 100-day deliverable. No car stock in a month. Have you used the $22 million? No, Senator, we have not. Uh, like I said, prior to the rainy season, there was uh, $8.9 million disbursed to the contractors 
the 12 contracts to start. And to date, only two of the contractors have met the second milestone for payment. In a hundred days to meet it's that deliverable. Yeah. In a hundred days to meet that deliverable, how much you use? 8.9 million. So going forward, is that 100 days again? Well, yeah, this is what I said. So we won't call it 100 days anymore. So you don't need 22 million dollars because the 100 day thing. No, you don't need 22 million dollars now. For 100 days. Yes. yes. But the contract But you need additional funding. Yeah, as the deliverer. Uh -huh. Yes. To so pay 100. You need to be clear with this thing so that well, yeah. we don't keep going back. Keep, keep going back. Uh, what are you doing the last time you were here as minister? You know, I don't want to make an opinion that I'm not impressed because you are a very good presenter. Uh, presenter. But the implementation, we're not feeling it. Yeah. Very good presenter. Yeah. Very impressive when you present. You want to go on the road already and see your car without even shape. Uh, uh, Mr. Minister, what if one day Western Cluster will bring iron ore on the road, another day they're not bringing it? Suspending the lesson, renew the lesson. What going on? Question. So, Senator, before I speak to the Western Cluster thing, let me just speak to the one you said first. I will hope that the Senate, the Liberian people, and even the President, can give me the time that I need to do my work. And I'm saying it to say, we started work in the rain season. We're in the dry. Give me the dry season and see what a, I can implement or not. When you say the Senate will give you time, what do you mean, sir? I, I mean everybody. Just no, no, give no. Me. You said the Senate. No, I, I said, yeah, I said the Liberian people, the Senate. You raised the issue about, about uh, implementation. Good presentation. Saying, no, no, you, the good presentation is okay, but you yeah. said implementation. Yeah, yeah. That, so that I'm just saying the time you should give me is mm -hmm. give me the dry season to see this dry season, let it come and go and see whether the implementation will be questionable. That's, that's what I'm asking for. That's what I'm asking for. I request for 100 days, so the public will hold exactly. it for 100 days. Yeah. So, you think you, yeah, you wanted 22 million for 100, 100 days. days? Yeah. So, stop. Again, there was no way we could have used 22 million in 100 days. That there's, the no, there's no absorptive to capacity public. to do so. The issue was we begin this process in 100 days. And when the president said no car will get stuck in 100 days, it was a statement made by the president. We, as technicians, had to make that statement work. And to make it work is to begin the process. All of us here know that. Within 100 days, with the challenges that we had all around, you could not work on road, dirt road, in 100 days and really get it to the point where that would happen. But that project got started, it got launched. And I'm saying, within this time now, those who between Zerju and Karikian, uh, uh, Fish Tank, can tell you must, I personally worked. must commend you so, that in 100 days, uh, I don't know what a car got stuck in major corridors across the country, according to the president's 100 day commitment. But we can't keep running with 100 days and 22 million. We pass by 100 days ever since we issue a. And you can't, we can't keep talking about 22 million dollars in 100 days, 100 days, and car, no car gets stuck. Somebody asked me the last time they said, Senator, the president said no car will get stuck. Why cars get stuck? I'll answer for it. But on a serious note, I just wanted to ask my last question. Yeah, he said no car will slow down. He said no car will get stuck in on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Minister. Yes, sir. <laughs> the last time you were here on our own, and with the permission of the presiding, we'll play the video. You said, as we speak now, some intervention going on. On the road, the, bourgeois, the bourgeois island road from transit from the bridge to War Freeport and Douala. Mm -hmm. The day you were here, speak to that because we don't see it, we don't feel it. Well, again, when I was here, I said that, and what I was saying was that there were intervention on certain sections. So, if you go right before the GD Bank, there was an intervention made there before the rain got heavy. We closed up a very big cradle that was there also part of LPRSP. Besides that, there have been, those who live across the bay will tell you that, that there have been several interventions with Coach Rattel in the, the cradles. Because that corridor, over six years, there have been no maintenance by the last government from Freeport Street to Simple Bridge. And that was why even uh, the MDNC was brought in 
towards the beginning of 2023 to start to do work. And that project never really got started in full until the election came. So that whole section, it is like that because of almost six years. So what we could do in the rain, especially for concrete and asphalt, is to just fill it from the holes when we fill up the cradles. They will come from the community with bears and take it on. There were several times where we intervened continuously to, to make it pliable, to keep it stable until we can get to the dry. Now we are you in the dry. You said people were taking your cars. Yes, or yes, yes. They were yeah, arrest people, anybody? Well, uh, we couldn't. We couldn't. We didn't have the visual public does not have. I shared that with the with the police, with the head of the police, and he said, well, get it. It's almost impossible for us to put police in that whole corridor to catch people. In the Lokitan area, right before the Lokitan city, was town, that whole place, there were times where we intervened. And after four or five days, if you go there, you will see holes. People will bring shovel and dig up the crush rock to use it in the community, to fish there, to catch there, take their building in those, in those slum communities. So we couldn't stop them. We're just intervening continuously until, and my prayer was, let's get into the dry season, Senator. Now that we're in a dry season, that's when we're supposed to work. And that's why I say, give me the dry season and see whether we are not going to do what we do. But Lovely. we took over just into the rain. Lovely. Yeah. How many will pass in a budget for public work? Question. Public work budget was about 35, 35 million. Uh, yeah, during the passage. Yes. The including road fund? Yeah, including road fund. How much have you received? Question. Well, again, I would. So on the side of the. Um, Ministry of Finance, there were five million. We have not received any yet. We just got the number of 1.2, and that will begin doing the city patching that will happen now around the city, where you see all the purple, SKD Boulevard, all those places, Congress Bag Road. We got that allotment, not the money, and the contracts are signed to begin. So, all out your of the budget five, for this year, 2024, how much have you received for intervention? Because sometimes you have the elaborate plans, you have the program. And we we'll put money in the budget, which is projection or appropriation. If you are not getting it, yeah. you can't do your work. No, so I won't and be able if to. you don't know that you're not getting it, or would know you're not doing your work. How much have you received from the so I won't be able to your budget? Say, so I won't be able to say exactly from the road fund, but I'm sure we've gotten up to sixty six to be up to sixty percent of what we had at the road fund for payment to contract. Little percentage. And what I have the figure. I will not remember the figure of here because the contracts are many. But what has happened is that there were contracts that we inherited, existing contracts. Works were taking place on those contracts. So those, those contracts were being paid on so that works are done. And I can always get the record and share with the Senate later on Please in terms do. of the detail of the So you got some money, but you pay yeah. existing contracts. Yeah. What are the progress they making? I, I, this is what I said. I will, I will have that and share with you. To but see you, where you, we are. you are coming here for these purposes. Well, if okay. you get, you know, yes. I want to know yes, what on this you, yes. Minister, I, I could have. I yeah, want to know what up. You see, every approaching a uh, 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 presiding please, colleague, the the legislature got poor image out there. As far as the country knows, we only hear for ourselves. As far as the country knows, the only thing that can under the budget that everything for the legislature, it will put it will appropriate that money for public works to function. To intervene, and you get in the money, and the public is not feeling the impact. The value of what we get, car, the value of what we take in pay, understandably, when uh, 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 when when the services are not being served by the public, all they know that whole seven hundred and thirty-eight million budget is only for the legislature. Your 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 budget is almost forty million, correct? Yeah. Yeah, um, so you pay get this money money and you pay companies, but the companies are not coming on the road to do the work for the public to so, feel so they know that we're funding at least the public works ministry to do our work. So, 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 our role. so, so let me say let me let Please me say to that. So let me say this. Yeah. So I, I, like I said, we put the records together and share with you. There are projects that were completed that the government was owing. So for example, this this road in the Peace Alley, the Peace Alley road that was done behind the ministerial complex. The contractor that did that road was over for that road. It was done already. Please all the and the payment. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. So yeah, I will true. do that. Okay. I don't need to do all this. Please. Because those sections, they will drive it to, to uh, drive market to, to now Johnson's Now I say, please put that together exactly. and give it to so I will put it together. The city will do that with health and education. Yeah. These people need to come here 
so that education ministry can tell us what they're doing with 111 exactly. million that we appropriated. Health ministry needs to come here to tell us what they're doing with over 80 million that we appropriated. JFK needs to come here to tell us what they're doing with over 8 million that we appropriated. That when ten dollars per week starting more, it's not a JFK. They say the law maker then they get them for the same. We appropriate all these funding. If you are not receiving the money from foreign ministry, let us know because without the money, you can't do your work. But if you're receiving the money and paying companies, and the companies are not doing the work for the public to feel a benefit, then we look like we are doing nothing yet. Yeah. We need to hold your responsible. So we we'll share, we we'll share, we we'll share you. the document you said. We share, we are committed to that. Please, please take note. We we'll share the document on where we are. Thank you very much, Mr. Presiding, and thank you, Mr. Minister, for the explicit presentation. Like Senator Dillon said, I'm never surprised by your presentation. And let me also say thank you to you and your team for the work you did when you started your 100 day. At least there were a lot of testimonies about places that were in the past no go era at about this time, but you made it to be pliable. When you started your presentation today, I was a little concerned. I listened to you, and I'm happy that you name all of those different corridors where I kept hearing Southeast, Nima, Basel, Lofa. And I was like, I wonder Western Liberia is still part of Liberia. And it's still captured under the, 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 the arrest agenda. But in the concession, you put the not for their road building, so we depend on the government to, to build our road. Listen, from the beginning, Medina, Rabaspo, Bopolu, nothing came up. It was all on that side. And the entire country is having serious issues with road. Every country. When President Boakai made that pronouncement, he said Liberia. He did not say specific countries. So I was a little concerned. I don't know whether when you look at my face and I kept looking at you, you decided to factor in rubber code and you turned around and saw my colleague from Bopolu, then you factor in Bopolu because even the printed presentation I have here, I don't see Western Liberia here. And once it's not written, you're not going to look at it. No. When you get to your senior management team, you will look at the presentation and you will go according to a Colleagues, if you look through here, you will not see West in Liberia factor. And this is concerning. Under this government, we talk about the arrest. The arrow in the, the, the let me say arrow. Arrow is for road, one of the arrows. Then the T there is for tourism. And we keep talking about tourism, 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 which is a means of expanding our revenue envelope. Because there are countries that rely on 100% on tourism. God has blessed us with the features needed. Now it's only good for the government to invest to ensure that that comes to realization. And I think I've approached you on this many times. I've spoken to many people in the executive. Fortunately for us, former president, we have made a pronouncement about the role leading to rubber sport. I'm happy also that you mentioned that the processes, procurement processes okay. have completed for 15 kilometers. When I look at the current budget in the write-up, I just see Medina Rappersport. Today in your presentation, though, it's not captured here, but you mentioned that next budget year, that even made me to feel sick because we know that road construction it's also seasonal. The dry season is right here. Then when we say next budget year, we don't even know when the budget will pass. The budget may pass when we're almost in the rainy season. Then it's going to the following year. Is there any issue? We want to know what the issues are with the Medina rubber spool road. A very short, less than 45 kilometer, and very close to, 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 to Monserrat to Monrovia. And one of the first five counties of this country. That's the con county seat. 
By this time, that road should have been built ever, ever since. Every time it comes this close, it gets carried back. What happened? Are the people of Cape Mona part of this, this country? And this is really, really serious. Also, also, I wanted to say that you talk about the coastal road between Bukiana and Sesto. Is that all also the same thing that we kept hearing about coastal highway? Yes. Why are we starting in the middle? Well, from Bikana to, to That's in the middle. Wow. The coastal belt of this country doesn't start in Bikana. It doesn't start in Bikana. Okay, so so it's also a deliberate attempt to ignore Western Liberia. What happening? Okay, so let me he will come to explain. Please explain what is the coastal highway. People less understand the coastal highway. Yeah. Yeah. When we finish, please start with that. Explain why it is. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Presiding. Yeah. We also have before us the bridge, the damaged bridge from a colleague county. And this is serious. But again, bridges should not be like firefighting. When I went to Cote d'Ivoire during the war, what I saw there, and I admired about their roads. Once the roads are established, they plan ahead of time, they build their bridges. So that in the future, time to build that road is easier. Maintenance of the lateral road becomes easy. Do we have any plan as a country where we've identified the roads that are still law? Because when you go to Cape Mon, Cape Mon is not just rubber spot. It's not just Gabula or Tewa where the quota goes straight to the water side. You have the bigger district in the back. And some of you who are all over like the professor there, he knows that part of Cape Mon where the roads are dangerous. And the bridges, long, long bridges, they have logs lying on them. Are we waiting until they break and cut off towns before we can run it like we're doing with the Temple Bridge? Do we have plans for these bridges? That's my question. Thank you. at a time. But today, I see all of them appealing. I don't see them talking about detention. So life has changed. So I'm happy about that. I want to say thank you for the appreciation I've been met. That good governance. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know my deputy power minister. <laughs> so I want, to, I want to commend you for the speed you have with the Senate. Let me also say that I listened to many speakers coming here from the executive. They spent a lot of time talking about PPCC, how to go there for this, how to go there for that. My understanding of the Public Procurement uh, Concession Commission, that it is there to show that the law is followed, but the Ministry of Justice is also there. Mm -hmm. It is not there to do a routine process for ministries and agency procurement. Because that is why in every ministry and agency there is a procuring entity committee. There is a committee there for procurement purposes to, to, to comprehend and understand all of the processes that lead to PPCC, so that in the morning, you will not require you want to go bail a row, you have to run the PPCC. 
So I just want to make that as a public observation because I see that even yesterday hearing, there was the same thing with the transport minister. Today, I hearing the same thing. You are an independent entity that understands the procurement law. I don't want people to get timid and intimidated that before they even sign their, their payment, they have to go to PPCC. The PPCC is a process, and they even have a, they even have a complaint panel. If a procuring entity has an issue, or if a, bid, a vendor or a bidder has an issue, they have remedy for that. Mm -hmm. And the PPCC is, has a remedy through the Justice Ministry for violation. So I want people to feel very confident in themselves, utilize the procurement process, set up their team mm -hmm. to work independent and freely. That is the urging, that is the call I want to make. The final thank you is the Lofaro, you spoke very eloquently and passionately. Of course, I have not heard you talking about the, the troubles part of Konya, Basin yeah, All right, so just to inform you to give you notice that we, we, we as we spoke uh, a day ago, we are getting ready to go to LOFA for a very important event. Four counties will be converging on LOFA just to bring that to your attention. That's LOFA, Bong, Nimba, and Grandjire. And Senator Nyan is also fully aware and he's shaking his head in acknowledgement of that. Mm -hmm. So we look forward to working with the Minister of Power. I wish them we thank you when we shall have come back. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. I just want to say thank you for all the hard work because nobody talking about you going to jail. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you very much, I'm presiding. Mr. 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 Minister. Yes, Senator. Welcome and thank you for your presentation. And thank you for promising the people of Rio said that the pavement will not just leave the canal and pass through to go to the southeast, but you give us some hope that in our lifetime, I will drive on quota to Resetsa. <laughs> no, I don't have, I think my lifetime. <laughs> Uh, I'm hopeful because as we are seeing, I mean now, and the the deposit points of the the polls for illiteracy as we said that. And so, but huh? Yeah, yeah. From the camera. Yeah, yeah, we said that. Um, but I have concerns. This country is going towards PPP, right? Public private partnership and doing civil works like public works, right? Yes, uh, of course, the private sector, yeah. From your predecessor to this administration, we've been hearing about the purchase of some yellow machines. From the past administration, your predecessor sat right there and told us that the government the government put in for some yellow machine, 45 pieces. Thank, thank you for it, but very much for the correction, Senator. And up to the time they left off a nine pieces key of yellow machine. Are you aware of that? Yes, Senator, more than that. Where are those machines? So, because, you know, I want to make it interactive because um, the government purchasing that amount of yellow machines at the same time paying contractors to do the work on the roads and it is our understanding, it may be wrong, that it is the very government equipment that you're giving to some of your con I mean, companies that you're, you're giving contract to. 
Oh, never. Because where are the equipment? Never honor my administration. Service. And where are the equipment? The equipment that are here at the Ministry of Public Works. We will check on them. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, before you took over, your predecessor announced to the people of River First that government hire or contractor for $1.8 million to pave a five kilometers of road, which is about 3.3 miles with incestors. I mean, no impact of that contract. Can you please bring us to date? And lastly, what is your plan? If I say you're not talking about the ministry, The road challenges in the country is not between capital because the whole presentation gives them the impression that the focus is between country capital, the middle road. But internally in the country, there was a suggestion here that we support about I mean, money in the national budget to get about 100 billion pieces. So that the public wealth minister will divide it among the countries internally. At least the country can take some of the uh, country development funds and install it. When you stand on it, because internally the challenges are more than even between the country capital. Thank you very much. Because they would have, they would pay in advance more than what they deliver, in excess of 800,000 worth of equipment 
or is this the middle? So we just still have that, and I'm waiting for the draft position to come back with that. So we could not get into the work with that. So on the successful students, Chip C, Senator, you asked about that. Zidami is a company that has that contract, and it's one of the contracts that was paid on. So this dry season is expected to finish that one in several sessions. That the chip seat within the city that he was doing. The company has to complete that one in the city. So the dry season, you should see one in the city. If you don't see a letter in the right, it will happen because the company needs to be completed the work. This dry season is completed to that. Um, on the cost activity, one of the first things we decided to do, the president's own objective is to collect the capital capital. We started that a long time ago. When I said it was the power of the project, at least every country can be to be honest and have to focus. Yes, there are internal issues, and the proposition is that this comes about the government by itself, seeing where we can procure the bridges. There are a lot of bridges to be in the country. Suspect, long spent, and that can connect internally within these different countries. And we did it. Yes, there are long bridges, some of them will last, some of the long bridges last for long, but you don't know when it collapsed. You don't know when it collapsed because of the soil condition and also that what happened now because of the, the most, don't forget, it's covered with dirt, with dirt soaked, it soaked the law over time, the law, of course, lose its strength and just collapsed. It's exactly what happened in the Caribbean Belt and Fish Town with that particular bridge. You see the picture how it collapsed, you see. It just broke into two pieces. Those very huge law. So over time, of course, it loses the strength required to, to, to be there. So we need to inter introduce that. And I think it's a conversation that can help about the deliveries. I will support that as Minister of Public Works. That we should go ahead and bring those deliveries and have countries uh, installed in different countries. And the deliveries can last for forever. Most of some of our roads we have today, that deliveries is there. They're there. They go right to Gata, 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 in Gata City, the bridge between the Gata and Bridge there. It's just a standardized delivery bridge and been there forever. So, in a major highway in our country, they install delivery bridges. Delivery bridges, the last one is in Don Capoli and the King Capoli. So, yes, that proposition is something that I would, I would support if we should go ahead and do so. I would support that. Yes, yes. Okay. So, yes, that was cool. Yes, so, that was cool. And, and so, I'm sorry for, I showed my technical assistant that we did not include uh, rubber sport in here because rubber sport issues for good and like I said. Uh, we are hoping that when I say the next budget we have is that when the budget starts, we are hoping that the budget will be passed faster before the year ends. It's very possible. I'm uh, sure so the Minister of Finance is working over time to see what it is to submit the budget in time. And if it's passed, then January, February, March, April, we have a full month, a lot of work to be done. Once that happens, we have access to funding to begin that work. And because now we are very low in terms of what we go to see on the road fund, and a lot of money we have to pay for the uh, feasibility studies and for resettlement on some of these corridors. We're building a bridge over the Kabbalah Road in Kabbalah, paid for by FOS. We have to resettle almost a little over to close to 600,000 on the settlement then for that project to start to build the bridge. So there's a lot of that that we prioritize now instead of works. But Madina Rama Sports is important. I'm one of those who believe tourism is key. The lives of the rest of the gender. And besides that, Rama Sports is a very beautiful city in Liberia, one of the best. Not just in the school, we need to pave the road into Rabo School. And I'm committed to that, uh, Mr. Senator. Sorry that you don't see it in here, but it's my capture and rest assured, Rabo School, so my dinner is being considered. And you see what's known in the ICU. We're committed to that. Thank you.
time. Uh, Can you tell us today that you still stand by that 80% performance or quality that you told us about uh, some time ago? Thank you, Minister. Minister, I think we're not going to ask him if we can just take that down and respond. Or oh, you want to respond to that before I continue? Yes, yes, yes. All right, good. Okay, so then uh, coming to uh, uh, the corridors that you mentioned. Even though there's no timeline, please, Mr. Minister, when you are doing this kind of work, uh, this kind of paperwork, please uh, give us a timeline. Give us a timeline that we will follow to me measure the performance over a period of time. So if you just come to us and say, this piece of job will be done, uh, the corridor will be done, it's not sufficient. From when to when? We want to know, we don't want to follow up. It's part of our oversight to know. The minister told us that this will be done from January 2025 to May 2025. Then we'll hold you accountable. We'll know that. You told us that on our oath, and we'll hold you accountable for that. So please, the next time we are doing this, uh, this uh, uh, kind of write up, please uh, put in the timeline so that uh, we, can, we can follow through uh, with the progress of the work. Uh, you spoke about the uh, road corridor from Bakersville to Southtown to Crowley. The Crowley is, 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 is a place uh, I don't picture. Uh, what is that? Is that in Grand Crew or is that in Sandu? Because it's a place in Sandu also called Crowley. Is that in Sandu Crowley? Is that in Sandu Crowley you're talking about? Yes. Sandu, right? Sandu. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah. No, the way is in Sandu. Eh? It's in Dubai. Yes, before you get to Takebo. Okay. Yeah. No, no, from Grimmel Sar. From Grimmel Sar, after Takebo. After Takebo, Diango, then Kroon. From Grimmel Sar. From Takebo, Diango, then Kroon. It's in Dubai River. Dubai River District. Alright, so there's a... My next concern, uh, 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 Minister, has to do with uh, the corridor from from Buchanan to to uh, sign or bring it, I spoke about. You spoke about that, but I don't see it here. Here I see coastal corridor between the central junction. What is it for? There's nothing mentioned here about central junction to Greenville. You spoke about that, but it's not here. How can I can hold you accountable for that. You are it. Yeah, it's not here, uh, Mr. Minister. So please, uh, maybe you need to, you need to uh, update this, uh, this uh, document that you put out. It's not there. From, from Central Junction to, to Greenville. Yeah, please, please take note of that. And, uh, and uh, let me just say, uh, um, we have this, uh, we're talking about doing the rule um, to Greenville. And um, I'm sure my colleague from uh, Maryland, from uh, Renfrew, uh, who use our corridor, we know that uh, the road uh, from Greenville City to the port, to the port of Greenville, uh, the community called Seabed. That's a bridge, a major bridge on the Sandal River. That bridge has had serious uh, problems over, over the years with uh, erosion. Uh, the last corridor minister came there several times, we talked about it, she came there, technical came there, 
to do an assessment and uh, what will be done. And I, I, I was told that some intervention was done, but it's like nothing was done at all. There's a major, there's major erosion going on there. Before you enter the, the, the bridge, they undermining the structure. So please uh, have your technician or your engineer in the country to, to look at it and report to you on that. The other one has to do with the, uh, the trade scheme that my colleague from uh, Riverside uh, spoke about. We have the same issue in Sino with the uh, Sino Street and the Mississippi Street. Those streets uh, were given to, uh, that project was given to, uh, uh, what do you call it, the, the Lebanese company? Um, they were given to that company to do, I'm sure you are aware of the company that uh, that got a contract. Um, I just forgot the name. Um, they took that contract, decided to do some work, decided some work actually. So that contract, uh, after, after a couple of months, they just got stopped. And nothing, nothing was done again. They did an upgrade of the, of the streets, but they never put in a church and they are staying um, in that condition. Nothing, nothing has been done further. So I want to please also look into that and uh, please let us know the status of that project. Uh, probably the two will go uh, uh, project probably next time uh, when you were in the committee or whatever we think uh, we can uh, get information about, about, about uh, those, two, uh, those two projects. Is, is it getting me, Mr. Yes. Okay, very good. And so, um, finally, uh, <laughs> okay. uh, finally, uh, Mr. Minister, um, you know, please, we, uh, this should be the beginning of the rainy season, actually. Rainy season is going to start, even though it's still raining because of the poor and poor family came back. In time past, long time ago, uh, this time of the year, uh, there's no rain again. We still have the rain, so you have a very short time to really do the work that you're supposed to do on our road. Our people are suffering. Uh, I'm sure you are as concerned as, uh, as we are. People are suffering. Right now, you can access the far east easily, even by motorcycle. Even by motorcycle. It takes days. You're not talking about motor car. Motor car? Mm. Okay. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Difficult. Challenging. So please, Mr. Minister, um, we're talking about supervision, all of these uh, challenges that you, that, you, that, you, that you have. I hope those challenges will be wiped on. And at this time around, we have value for money. That's what people will do the work that, you know, because it's a perennial problem. Every year, every rainy season. Last year the same thing. This year the same thing. So please, 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 uh, the issue of the highway children is affecting the livelihood of our people. It's a very serious matter. Then the movement and livelihood of our people. I want to please, please uh, take it as a matter of the uh, audience. Thank you.
And I told the Minister of Finance and I did tell you before that in as much as we stand for transparency and accountability, the longevity of procurement processes and unnecessary bottlenecks and bureaucracy are killing our development process. And we need to look into that. By the time some of the procurement processes are ended, the reads are already here. I can clearly state here that have you given some of those contracts, let's assume in January, and people work at least up to June, we wouldn't have been in the problems we are in today. As a man who grew up in the interior and the rural part of this country, I know of a lateral road. You cannot fix lateral roads during the rain. In fact, you will make it worse. And if, 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 if you had, my, if I had your ears at the time to advise you, I would even say maybe we just got down from a day, you think that for 50 days and we're going to do the But as long as the contract was given to companies, they were given to go ahead and do what they had to do. And I knew fully well, at some point, some of the roads were going to be impossible because even the very greater and machines that are fixing the road will tend to damage the very road at the same time. Moving on, uh, I will want before you know going to my major question to ask you, and I've always asked you this question for the sake of clarity. To date, I want you to comment on how much have you spent on the maintenance of lateral road out of the 20 million dollars that was budgeted, 22 million dollars that was budgeted. My specific question will have to be on the planter secretary in hand. Mr. Minister, that rule, the project start around June, around July of 2023. You don't need to ask me how I knew because I was told in the county like every other week. And I knew fully well that the contractor that was doing that rule, as you mentioned, staff work between July and September completely. There were no machines there, there were no stations there, and they were all gone and dormant. For you to mention that the reason why that rule was not placed in the 100 day delivery for maintenance work, and which has been one of the major propaganda roles now, that role features in nearly many social media posts because people don't Function while we focusing with all due respect to other roads deeper, that the major road are connecting to those deeper roads between Sacred and Ganta will be impossible. People don't get to understand. We can face between, you know, Sacred and Tapeta, we can face between Tapeta and Tosta, we can face between Zwedru and Blibo or what have you. But if we don't face between Ganta and Sacred how will they reach the venue of the rest of the road? And for you to eliminate that from the project, that there was a company operating there, I disagree with you, Mr. Minister. Probably you, you should check your facts and comment on that. What staff on that road almost, you know, six months prior to you awarding the, the maintenance contract? And if you knew that that road should have been captured within the first 100 days road so that that road could be maintained. It is one of the easily maintained roads that I have seen. And for it to not be in the contract and it's been used, and you will agree with me, many of the good works that you people have done, that one little corridor alone put a dent in your work a lot because as closer as it is, people were just grabbing it and running with it. And yes, indeed, it was impossible. And we should not be the case. So I would like for you to actually comment on the timeline that the company staff work and the timeline of awarding the contract and just that post that with why you didn't put it with and um, my next thing, a comment I would want you to consider is the roadside bridging. By way of giving you credit, you guys are doing well. Whatever partners in you are doing the roadside bridging, they're for instance, and you have a name by a no through pump. But there's a specific concern that even though you are bridging the roads on a bigger scale, but the specific grass that grows closer to the lap, to how you call it, the alpha, the grass are eating them off. So you will, you will do the bigger boot, but you are damaging the actual road because people are not keen to remove 
you know, those roots that are actually eating the rose up. You know, so I think the rosa breaking is one thing there yeah, to avoid accidents to break the bigger portion of it, but what about the one that is actually damaging the, the roof? So we need to look at that and comment on that. My last thing I want to comment on, uh, um, to talk to you about is that the Chinese company uh, CRSG that is fixing the uh, constructing the uh, second part Look what you wrote. We had a public hearing with them based upon complaints from some of my citizens from Limba County. And there's a committee report to that in fact. The last meeting of the committee, you sent your representative there. In that meeting, it came up. And the Chinese representative manager of the company stated clearly one of the reasons why they have not been able to clear that debt or their outstanding you know, uh, obligations to citizens who are fixing the road or working along with them is that the result of the government inability to pay them to clear that debt. And they said that clearly that the Minister of Public, the government through the Minister of Public Works, owe them some money. Now, what are we doing there? Whether they don't have money to pay the people, they left it on public works. And so I have in my hands here a committee report that I will be sharing with you. Instead of me waiting for the Secretary of the Senate to transmit it to you or all that bottleneck process, I will give you a copy. And this is an adapter report by plenary that should be implemented, you know, um, that features the obligation to the citizens and also the obligation of the citizens to the company, including that protection and payment and other stuff. So I'm going to be sharing that report with you. It is hope that this report will be looked at so that it can be implemented to the fullest. They are not big things that we are asking for. Everything contained in this report agreed by plenary are things that the company sat with and already agreed that they are obligated to the people for. So for you as an arm that giving them this contract to enforce the implementation would it be a difficult thing. And I want you to comment on how far the payment is because of, of, of some of the issues that that we So, so in, in, in order to give my communication much weight, I will still pass it through the secretary and say it will usually be in. Thank you. Mr. President, thank you very much. Uh, I know we are the last, so I will just run through my few concerns. Thank you, Mr. President. I took my communication when you were talking about the road that going to test us, the same thing. And I told him, it's not your time, it's your children's time, I will just change it. But my joke from the time the road that is coming from back in the day, the caution started it's about five years ago. Every year we are told next year, we don't go on next year, I go. Every year we are told next year is starting, next year is starting. So I would really like, do you really have a specific sign? What part of next year? Is it the beginning of next year or the next last year of next year? That's my first question. The second question is that, Mr. Minister, one of the things that the main Golden Project is the score of the government to live up to its own obligation towards the Golden Project. Do you have a full up estimate of the roads coming from Tanta all the way to wherever we want to go that donors are supporting the cost that is required that government is supposed to pay and all other roads that donors are supporting because the 2025 budget is coming. And to me, because of the seriousness of the project, we don't have to look up to only the road funds. I think we have government we need to take hard code decisions, even from our own when they decide the road for and see how we can fund this road. Do you have a cost that you will bring for us to discuss? That's number two. Number three is that I pray you lay on all of these people from back to the to Pluto. Going towards Greenville, from Bagley Bay to Pluto, is the 
road that feeds the population on that side. Where we the people can be dying. So if that goal is met, unattainable to the value of the investment that you're going to that is going to work through you without the fair. Is there any plan? Do you see any plan for the Since some of your money? My third question is the government decided to take the city streets of the four cities. Babu and Bokolo, Bakri Bay, Green Bay, and another one. They were four. They started in some. They did some work in Bakri Bay, some work in Bakri Bay. I don't know whether they started in Babu already. Do you have plans uh, to continue the statement of speech in the, uh, this KC process that they were doing in all cities of the counties? I think it's very important. Then, uh, that's it. Uh, yeah, second to the last is that <laughs> we, 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 have a, we have a bridge that we told you about. We call it Chipati Bridge. That bridge is connected us with the road that going to Green Bay. We went out of order. We did discuss it with you. Uh, is there any plan towards that bridge? I was talking with some people from. Years, he said the road that is in, uh, how they call it, between that uh, red group and the uh, key. They're quicker. They're coming to concretize it. If they're doing, if they're doing that bridge, then the, the bill that is there, maybe could be transferred on that river to help us. Lastly, what is the difference between SFM and Africa, uh, 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 West Africa construction? Because I see West Africa construction in back in the to Pio, doing the Alpha there, and then uh, SFM, so what is this? Are they synonymous? I'm asking a few questions. Then the vendor, then the double, go. Other than me, I'm not going to go.
呃，好像如果用一些一些安全上呢 ，in relation to 你发生我旅行旅行问题是明星，呃 ，because 呃 ，I am inclined to know that 呃 ，the Secretary General has issued an advice to the Ministry of Public Works in relation to this issue. And I guess some of you can know exactly because in other Okay, uh, that communication for your ministry came from the Ministry of Justice in August. Well, there is a follow-up meeting after that, that's all I'm concerned about that. The other issue is that if you say the mission is in, it will probably work. Why is the OG County Road, Maryland, or other agency or uh, uh, Grand uh, Green Gear Road? Why is it that we say contact people to do so much more work for the mission review? Why are we keeping the mission for? Are we waiting to get somebody said to conceptually or construct it or so uh, family is individual. We need to know why is it involved in the mission and you're not you're not you're not outside there because you say the public way. Or maybe I'm making a mistake. Then you should tell on where I need to make use of the mission. Uh, because we have seen people buying uh families uh, uh, in this country and they never started. Uh, people have uh, radar that never started. So we want to know what the mission can start and when what are we making use of that. Mr. Minister, I'd like to ask you another question. Uh, when you were at the Ministry of Public Works before uh, the coming into the coming in of the last government, I guess you have a couple of uh, plans, and I guess also you feel a little bit disappointed when the other minister came in and they abandoned your plans. Uh, do you want to proceed in the same manner by abandoning other plans? Place of the past minister. The reason I'm asking the question is that because in 2022, five roads in the Western County, including our county, uh, there were 10 lines done for the roads. In some cases, contracts were well, well, awarded to you for the road. Since you came, the only thing I've been hearing for you is the hundred days. Thank God that our friend was not there with you at time when the hundred days saw it. I do believe that yes, you did some work. But the rest of the world was done by God. I want to believe so, yes, yeah, because you committed and then. Uh, I'm going to be the senior senator. I want to stop this part of this message to all of us. All of the proposals, these goals, of these plans that come from the Ministry of Public Works, I trust the ability of Minister Guinness. But I cannot trust the process. Why am I saying that? We need to have an infrastructure bill. We need to make the decision for the roads in our country and not to make sure a public works. Tomorrow, the president could have reason why he removed Mr. Gibbs. Another minister will come and want to start all of them. And we'll be at a detriment, especially for those of us in the southeast of other counties that are dry. So we cannot. We need to make a decision. Whatever plan the ministry has for road and we clear with that with and with equity we legislate. That's our last point. Thank you. Thank you, Senators. Uh, questions I will go back and address all of them. Uh there was a question for Senator Chief on our commitment for works. Yes, we can provide an update on the progress that was made prior to the rains. And we're hoping that the watch will continue to work in the rain. The country has a percentage that I'm sure, but we may commit them that the work that we commit them to do will have survived. But one thing I want to say is that when we watch, even then on the green field corridor, Senator, if you look in the report, they uh, actually have to bring their current then at the back to the South Sudan. But with the works that are done for these rules, especially the, the coffee works that is installed in colors, fixed time, and once you find those sections that are water prone, that is where will be considered as water crossing point or water overflow the road, it makes sense to install covers. When you install in those covers, it's easy to do at the time, but to do proper backfilling, you need 
the soil to be very dry. During the rains, it's difficult to do so. And that's why I'm committing to say that in this dry season, for the fact that we're going to have almost six months of dry, these corridors that you see now that make these perform ill perform, could perform or will perform better. Because the work to be done now will be a lot of dirty work, will be a lot of compassion with some, will be a lot of clearance doing the drains on the side, and not doing a lot of color work. So for example, if a contractor shall install 15 covers line in a section, and during the since April to get the completed that installation, this dry season, they won't have to do the installation of color now. What we'll be doing, we'll be bringing the borrowed grabber required and doing compassion to level Say, can we step up to Belia? And that's not true. We did not receive the two million. In fact, that process was done working with the nation of finance. So, to date, it's only 9.9 million that have been paid after the contractors. And these contracts have been two years. We are hoping that after build on it, these corridors will become better as we get into the next uh, rainy season. That's the sacrifice that we spoke about. Yes, that project started in a way between June and July. And when I brought this that was because the government had owed the contractor up to five million, a little to five million, and the consultant. And the contractor said they were not proceeding with any works until the government did that. So the government did not be able to just stop. So since then, they did do other work, and we took over in February of 2024. When the contractor have a contract already on the corridor, if you want to intervene, it is to go to the contractor and appeal it. We started with the contractor to see if we could start the work, restart the work. The contractor uh, precondition was that the government advised three million. If you pay them at least three million, you will get that one. And if you don't pay them, and you take another contractor and assign that contractor in the corridor that they're responsible for, it becomes a problem. You can use the government by doing that because they already have a contract for that corridor. But you didn't put them on payment. 
and you hold it up to five minutes. So it was a it was it was a challenging thing for us. We have kept appealing to them, closer to the ring, we dispersed through the rope on a little narrow to them, and we started to do some work, but it was not sufficient because we don't have to do And like you said, yes, that was the session that was used as one of the reasons why the object is still, because it was right in the session, right after that time. We have a stockpile of crush wrap in our section is uh, almost close to I think it's about a little over six to seven, six, maybe about five, six hundred meters. That that particular session was essentially used. So now the Ministry of Finance and I have a conversation. We're gonna restart all these big projects. The data the Saturday project will start during the dry season. It will not be down because we are hoping that the budget is submitted on time and that we can get the process of approval earlier so that even by December or by January next year we could be in, we can restart that process and, and then these projects can be paid for and we just start. Because these projects are not projects, projects that will be procured their whole project. So it's just to go ahead and, and make the rent to the contractor. The world's operation, yes, we initiated that in the Tottenham Burr, not Tottenham Burr, in Bombay the other, the other day, I think it was a few weeks ago. Uh, all of the major corridors that were paved or that are paved with the roads are brushing. And so, yes, we take them. The, 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 uh, the, is the community services and our operational team will go in the corridor and expect the work done. So, what you raise will be some of the issues we will look at. If the grass still remain on the asphalt and it's on a mining, of course, it will create some problems. So, before the payments are made to the CBOs in the old day, those who did the road were hired right in the in the town, in the corridor. So we we'll go there to, to make the report. Before that, there will be a special, of course, if the work is not certified based on the specification, that will be addressed. Um, there's a Bachana River 7. So I'll talk about this one real quickly. From, from, uh, um, so that's on Sunday's way of the city from Pacific Park to, to Lohaku. That project is then paid. Um, it's then paid for by the African Development Bank, the European Union, and the European investment bank, three funders, okay? And the first two funders have already exhausted the payment. So it's only the ERB has left. There was a local NGO that raised an issue and I like that there was social exploitation taking place in the corridor by the contractor for people, for young girls and women, and they were then at least multilateral partners taking seriously. So they took it seriously, and based on that report, we had the investigation suspended this person on the, on the project. The African Development Bank had a team to come to town, they went there independently and investigated, and they saw no reason of what was claimed by the NGO, the local NGO. After that, the European Union also sent a team. They did the same, no issue about that. The ERP said they could not rely on both the European Union and the African Development Bank report. They had to send their own team to town, and there was a few conditions. And they also said to us, with the way the ERB works, they don't express on one project if the government owes on another project. So the government was owing some money on my coffee, three million on my coffee, because they also funded my coffee project. And so they stopped the disbursement. If the balance is $16 million that we need to complete the project, only the ERB is at that point in time. And so we paid the three million from the on the uh, on the my coffee project, but then they said the team is coming. So hopefully. Uh, by the end of November, that will be concluded and then the contractor will be paid. So the ERB, of course, the government is being funded by the ERB, owes the contractor that much. So, yeah, the contractors are permitted to do so, but you can blame them. The project is shut down now for a while. They don't have the money. In fact, the contractors will be filing claims, I'm sure, on the other level of the equipment and the environment that is, is happening in the project. Again, if we are able to do a lot as a country, something like $60 million shouldn't be a reason why the group are just But we have limitations, and that's what it is. Back with this, with such a project that the senator, you asked about that. Yes. The project, of course, years ago, but don't forget, is the Indian SM Bank that supported the project. It has to go to financing and we have to go through their own legislation. It has to have a point before it came here to happen. We also went to file it. They are now in the procurement process. We have the consultant already that came, and we already paid the consultant through the loan, through additional finance. They're doing the design. We're going to review the design. And then 
they end the procurement process now for the structural firm. A constructor firm will be an Indian firm that will come to Latin. And the timeline they gave us is to start our first quarter next year. So let's hope that it will be here because it's finalized. So the project will just start. But as a whole thing that comes with it, when uh, we have laptops and multi laptops supporting our investment uh, in the road, and there's a lot of free provision we have to do. But now we are at the stage of procurement process for the contractor to do the physical work. And they convince them that our first quarter next year. There was uh, our counterpart funding obligation. Yes, we do work on the new requirements and we are all the counterpart funding. But there's so much of money that we owe. This is on the yet one project. The real life of any other project. We owe the contractors, Cico and Chico, a little over 60 something million. For counterpart funding that we have to pay since the project started years ago. So that is something that we have to take care of. Currently, all those projects, there's counterpart funding we must make available this budget year. Saturday Ministry of Finance and they are cataloging that and they are committed to that. But what the bank has also done the work on, they committed to pay on some of the rap, which is part of the counterpart funding. The corridor from close down to Dredu, they'll pay for it. The African Development Bank will also pay for Dredu to fish down to, to Pilipo, Putukan. So on that we'll take care of that. But the counterpart funding for physical work, we would have to pay. So on the 85 kilometers, the 10 kilometers to the border, we have to pay up to 6, 7 million as our counterpart country. We factor in that, the Minister of Finance is committed to that because for him, it's for us. It makes sense. When these big projects are in motion, they also have to steal you know, economic activities along different corridors. So he's committed to us making sure that these projects get, uh, get started. Um, there was also something about the connection of people. When I got to the ministry, we decided to review the project. Uh, we have not engaged in India yet wanted to come to look at how can we factor in, go backwards. We hope that's something that we will consider to go backwards to people. If they will connect badly with the people, then we are okay if there's a bit of people. Then badly can also get the kind of asset to people. Because a few badly will then connect to the green bill, takes time, but if she's connected to people, it's easy. She has the ring coming up to the monogamy. So that, that is the kind of decision we go home, or we want the project to just start a question in India and we'll see what could be done uh, to get it backwards. On the bridges, the team that will be going to assess the bridges, how we can have for that, so that we get the information that we have from you, we we'll hope that the team can also do that assessment. When we go to assess to see what possible we can do, but like I said, at the Ministry of Public Works now, we don't have to be there. We just tap on to be able to get there. But we'll see what we can do. We'll get the road once they have any emergency fund. We'll go through that process once we come back to the and address that. But the team will also look at the bridge when they have it. You ask the difference between SSF and West Africa. Well, two companies that I know have working for the Ministry of Public Works. Uh, and of course, whether it's owned by two persons or one person, there's two separate companies that have no separate African corporation and have contracts with the Ministry of Public Works without everything we need and working with them. My concern is they must perform and meet up with what they should do, and that's, that is what we can do as being the Minister of Public Works and being on top of that. And I'm very clear about the performance of companies, especially the time they the master. If we have to better perform what we can to make contracts, we will do so in terms of performance. Um, Elevation condition, the uh, minister, Mr. Tumbo asked about the elevation situation. Yes, we sent it to justice. Justice wrote us back with an opinion. Our legal wrote another opinion to justice. Justice has not replied to us. You can all believe on what justice was suggesting. Uh, didn't, didn't go that well with us based on what you're asking us to do. So we also replied to justice concern. And justice has not replied to us. But the matter is still in the interest of justice on the on, on the on the footprint. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So, so I can. So, what the 
the the uh, the company will go to the court because what we do is a legal damage justice. But justice will deal with the company to be able to live up to the obligation on the contract. The judge has to say what we did was that under the procurement law, we have the right to suspend the company participation. The same company has not delivered on the equipment, wanted to participate in another case. And as Minister of Public Works, I said, no, you can't allow the company that owe the government 800,000 worth of equipment have not been delivered on it. No reason for why that has not happened that is justifiable and wants to participate in the case. So we broke the section on the procurement law that gave us the authority to suspend that company from participating. And the, the, the development justice was that we should allow the company to participate. And I said, well, the company can take us to court. But just they would not suggest that we allow that in my mind. It was not the right thing to do. So all of that, we wrote the justice back to give our opinion on why we thought the company should not be allowed to participate using the procurement law that can allow to suspend the company that is not only the company that has not performed and you terminate the contract of that company. And that same company comes by and says they want to bid in a project at the public works. And then we allow that company to bid. Then we are not serious. And that was the same thing we so have done. And I have to refuse your legal advice. Exactly. And I stood by that position as the minister of public works with the advice from our legal people. So that, that was the situation, Senator. The gypsy in the capital cities. Yeah, I spoke about that. And, and I said, even what is done in Grand Cru, I, I think we should even upgrade it to, to something better than that. I think we should take that concrete intervention for small numbers. So, uh, sticking with the plan, abandoning road projects from the past government, the last question you asked, we are not abandoning the project from the last government. That why most of the projects now that are happening are projects that will be heavy. The intent is for us to clear the books. Our current portfolio is almost over a uh, 100 million plus of contracts that have not ended. You know, we're trying to find a way to, to, to not do it because we just keep buying up new projects over and over. We have a portfolio of 100 and what? of just contracts that we have filed that have not ended. So the intent is to be able to, you know, get rid of that. So most of the projects you see that started or that we took over from were projects that were never done the last one. We'll continue with them because it makes sense to continue. We will not abandon the projects that were already were scheduled for projects that meant well for the country to Thank you. Thank you.
as well. Mm -hmm. So we talk to you for coming. What is the reason I have that seen them before and say there was some non-performing contracts? One of the status of those contracts and the status of the review. So the government talk about the come to the end of this public hearing. Do join us on Thursday and officially we will be here at the library and Senate. My name is Ernest Benner. We have a serve. God bless you.